Welcome everyone and thank you for joining me today. I um, am going to read you a story from an article from Newsweek. And the name of the article is Air Passenger Unleashes, Unleashes Homophobic and Racial Slurs. An unidentified passenger went on a racist homophobic rant on a U.S. commercial flight November 2nd just after landing at LAX. In a video recorded by a fellow passenger, the woman can be seen yelling obscenities at the man sitting next to her repeatedly saying, shut up, shut the F up. The disruptive passenger stands up at one point of the video and yells, do something. Why are you talking shit? The woman repeatedly comments on the passenger's appearance, saying he looks goofy and a gay-looking asshole. After someone asked her to watch her language because of young children in the vicinity, she asked, That's not my kid. I don't effing care. Shut the F up. Though it is unclear what exactly set her off, the videographer told the mirror that her disruptive behavior began before what is seen on the footage. Shortly before the video was filmed, she threatened a flight attendant who appeared to come up and try to calm her after other attendants had been unsuccessful. The source said the flight attendant called for ground control and I assume the police did end up escorting her off the flight once we landed. Information regarding the airline and passenger have not been disclosed. It is unclear whether the woman was escorted by police and whether she would be facing any charges. Incidents of public racism and violence have increased markedly since Donald Trump took office. The president often rallies his supporters with sexist and racist insults directed at those he feels have been insufficiently differential to him. In other words, if you didn't vote for him, if you don't agree with him, uh, if you don't stand with what he stands for, um, he's going to um, call you an idiot, call your names, uh, say you're unqualified, and all of the above. And everybody, a lot of people are noticing that, you know, it's, it, well, you'd have to be um, blind in one eye and can't see out the other if, if you don't see what's going on with this uh, nation and the world because of Donald Trump. Now, as far as the lady goes, it's like, um, I, it, it doesn't give you a lot of detail. The art, this art, particular article does not give you a lot of detail on the, what um, race she was, what the other person's race is. The picture that they show, and I'll leave the link in the uh, description area. Uh, it doesn't, you know, it doesn't, you just see the back of her head and then the side of the man's face. So I'm not really sure of what's what with this article or, um, you know, and, and I didn't see any other article with this um, incident to, that gives a clear picture. So, but I'm just saying, a lady, well, I use the term lo loosely, a female, is calling him out of his name, shut the F up, calling him a uh, uh, homophobic, homophobic slurs. Now, if he would have hauled up and slapped the mess out of her, then that's another thing. That would have been another incident. But how much, you know, you try to restrain yourself. Oh, and I know how that feels. Somebody's just spitting out those that venom and you're trying to keep your cool and you're trying to keep your cool and you're just counting to 100 backwards and forwards and sideways trying not to retaliate but how much can you in, 
endure? How much are you supposed to endure? Now that reminds me, and I didn't bring the story forth, but that reminds me of that incident in Maywood with that teacher. And um, I saw the video uh, of it. And uh, and the uh, and the uh, link I went on the link, and the fourteen year old is just just spitting out his his venom towards the the music teacher, and calling him the N word, and even picked up a basketball and hit him with it, and then the teacher is just steadily trying to ignore him, and then the teacher the music teacher well the incident started where he the student didn't was not dressed appropriately didn't have his uniform on or whatever they're required to to wear and the um the teacher was dismissing him from the uh, class because of that. And then the 14-year-old student just went into a rage and a rant, uh, you know, and just call, kept calling the teacher's name. Like I said, hit him with a basketball. And then the teacher just snapped. Beat the heck out of him. If you guys didn't see that, that, um, that footage... I know um, know the ledge with Trey. He had that article, and if you can find that article, and I'll try to um, what I'll try to do is just put that YouTube uh, uh, link so you could go to uh, know the ledge page and watch uh, and 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 hear what he says because uh, he did an in depth, more in depth um, footage on this video than I'm doing. But how much? do you have to take and you know this is people just aren't afraid women are doing this to men and you know I don't care if that man was gay he still could have beat the slop out of her gay don't mean you weak gay don't mean you stupid and gay don't mean you don't have feelings you know, whether you embrace that lifestyle or not, that is not the point. You do not treat and talk to people that way. Plus, she had gave the um, the uh, flight attendants problems even before that incident. So, um, anyway, I'll put you the link. I'm going to go on... Um, Trey's page, and I know he won't mind, and I'm going to refer you back to um, his commentary and listen to what he has to say, and I don't mind doing that because we're all YouTube creators, and if you like my channel, you like it. If you don't and you prefer somebody else's channel, there's nothing I can do about it. The only thing is I, I just hope my YouTubers are loyal to my page, and if you you know, want to subscribe to his page, do that, because I, do, I did, I, I'm a subscriber because I like his content, and he gives common sense advice, and he don't try to use a lot of fancy words and things you don't understand, he's just a down-home brother, and so I'll, I'll, I'm going to look for that and make sure I put that YouTube, so you can listen to what Trey has to say, and he has the link in of of that man just you know you know just going at it and mind you the 14 year old um you know he he hit him with the basket of golf first so he initiated contact first but i'm just saying on an airplane you know in confined uh quarters like that i mean they I, I, it appears like they did uh, put her off the flight. Um, that's what I have for you, and I'll make sure I'm I'm, I'm going to uh, find that that YouTube uh, to Trey's channel and put that in in the description so you can uh, you can watch him. So uh, that's all what I have today. And oh, this is Sunday, and it's been such a peaceful day. Um, I did get up a little early and um, cleaned my oven. And the dogs have been pretty much good, you know. Um, 
I'm surprised they didn't come in here. Uh, usually they're, they're, you can hear them in the background whining because they think I'm talking to them. And by the way, that one rant that I went on with, with Trump and I was talking kind of like um, aggressive, the dogs, I think, thought that I was fussing at them because usually they're whining and trying to get my attention. But that particular day, they just looked at me like, you know, just looked at me like, oh, we better be quiet because she's on a rampage. They didn't make a sound. You did not hear anything. And then the other one, you know, uh, he has birth defects and his esophagus is narrower. So if he eats too much, it's like a, a raspy kind of... Um, breathing and he sound and, and it's very noticeable on the on the videos he sounds like Darth Vader so uh anyway enough about my dogs I'm rambling now but anyway thank you for joining me if you have not subscribed uh please do so now and click the notification bell and don't forget to uh, go on Trey's page if you're curious if you if you have not um seen that full footage of um, the teacher in Maywood, California. So, and if you've seen it, then you you see where I'm coming from, where the teacher is just, he just lost it. You know, how much are you supposed to take? But anyway, I will talk to you next time. Thank you for joining me again, and good night.